Hi, it's Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're gonna do easy keto diet. What do I eat in the day of keto? Coming up next. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb. I have lost a significant amount of weight through keto, through intermittent fasting. And on today's video, what do I eat in a day of keto? particularly easy keto. I am, after all, Royal Weight Loss meets real life with a three-year-old and a hot husband and lots of lots of businesses, so this is gonna be easy keto straight up. If you love this video, smash that like button, make sure you click subscribe, and sign up for my free, yes, I said free, ketogenic diet meal plan, which is down in the description link below. Get all of your ketogenic meal plans for free, don't have to pay for it, in the description link. Let's dive in to what I eat in a day of keto diet eating. Can I please get a Trenta iced coffee, no classic, um, with super, super light heavy cream, like basically black? <laughs> and can I get a little ice water and then that's it? No problem. We'll see you at the window. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so it happens to be my birthday today. So I went to Starbucks and my traditional order, because I do like to do intermittent fasting coupled with easy keto or lazy keto, um, that to me is my biohacking. It really, really has aided in my weight loss. And so I do the intermittent fasting, usually at least a 16-8, which is a 16-hour fast, an eight-hour eating window, and that's what I'm doing today. So I was still fasting at this point. Heavy cream per Dr. Fung does not break a fast, so I ordered a Trenta iced coffee, no classic, which is the sugar. You can add sugar-free products. However, for me, I stopped doing that because it stalled my weight loss. Once I stopped adding the sugar-free vanilla pumps or the sugar-free cinnamon pumps, then my weight loss started to go down, so I don't have those anymore. Trenta iced coffee, no classic, that's the sugar, with just a slight hint of heavy cream. Basically, it's black, but just a little eyedropper full, just to feel fancy, because we're fancy here on Countess of Low Carb. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, totally joking. Um, so next I had, so I had that, and then I also, um, cause I'm tr really trying to celebrate weight loss through not getting on the scale. Y'all have heard in my other videos about me not verbally saying how much weight I've lost. I say I've lost a significant amount of weight. Here's my before and after. And so, I'm trying to get into other reward systems for my weight loss that are, have nothing to do with food, which is why I got these beautiful flowers from Costco. Um, they're just an extra lovely way for me to celebrate some of my milestones of when I have a really, really good fasting day, eating day. I reward myself now with flowers and I'm loving it. family took me out for a birthday lunch. We went to this awesome place in Northern Virginia called Lowry's. It's a seafood where they have like steamed shrimp. It's in Loudoun County if you live in Virginia, but steamed shrimp, steamed um, scallops, crab legs. And so I got the steamed shrimp, the crab legs, dipped it in butter. That is a perfect keto meal, particularly an easy keto meal because I know it's the high protein. They're not, they're not adding any creepy carbs when they're steaming the shrimp, maybe except for the Old Bay. And even that, I looked at the ingredients, don't look like they have creepy carbs in them. So I'm going to say yes on that, that that was an awesome easy keto meal. It was high fat because of the butter, moderate protein because of the seafood, the steamed shrimp and the crab legs, and low carb because I don't I need anything else. It was just straight up meat. So that was a win in my book for my birthday. Happy birthday to me. I'm not sure which one I should eat. Should I have the mint chocolate chip, the chocolate peanut butter, or the dark chocolate? So my secret though is I only eat half. I don't eat the whole thing, I just eat half. If I want something sweet, this is the most amazing, delicious. Keto Bars does it right. They do it right in terms of keto sweet treats that I don't have to make. I love not having to make it. So I did get a sweet treat for my birthday. It's my birthday. And so I had literally half of that keto bar. Now those keto bars are not perfect keto brand. Um, they are in the description link below. They're not meal supplements. They're more like sweet treats that you don't have to cook, right? Like I'm totally easy keto, lazy keto. I don't wanna cook everything always. And these ingredients are really clean for a sweet treat not a meal replacement. So I just had half of that. If you want any of them, they're in the description link below. My favorite's the mint and also the chocolate almond. 
oh, it made for an awesome birthday treat after having my birthday keto lunch. What are you doing today to move your body? I would love to know in the comment section below. Moving our bodies does not have to be in lifting and things like that, but I will put in the description link a free lifting. I don't know even know the people who created this lifting routine, but I love it. I will put that in the description link below too if you want to get into lifting and be a bad mama. Like I, I mean bad in a good way. If you want to be a good bad mama in a good way, I'll put that in the description link below too. I just left my gym session. I'm totally shaky. I have not lifted in a hot second. I absolutely feel it, but feel great. But holding this camera right now, I feel like I want to drop it. So that was awesome. How are you getting your body movement in? Put in the comments below. I would love to see how you get, is it even just walking the steps? It's making love to your partner, children's earmuffs. Is it doing something you love to do, going swimming? Find something you love to do and do it. I love to lift and I use my awesome gloves because I feel like superwoman in them. So let's get our bodies moving. I went to go work out. I love to lift. I'm really into getting back into lifting. I used to do it when I was much younger and now I'm getting back into it. What are you doing today to move your body? I went to go a lifting class. Literally, I could not move my arms afterwards. <laughs> like holding the camera, I'm like shaking like, oh, it was awesome. It was a really, really good lifting class and it made me feel really, really good about um, getting some of my muscles back for my weight loss journey. it's my birthday I went to Starbucks again which I know is totally over the top but it was my birthday and I ordered you can order the Trenta which is big gulp size at Starbucks or a Vente which is large um, I ordered a Vente passion fruit tea no water no sweetener and excuse me the no water is I like it really really tart tasting to me it tastes super sweet some people add again again the sugar-free pumps into it I don't that stalls my weight loss so I order vente passion fruit tea no water no sweetener and just drink that ah, you can totally make it at your home I will put in the description link below the Amazon packages let me show you what I get totally can make it at home on your own this is the package and I'll put that in the description link below. This, I, in my book, would break a fast because of the fruit in it, like fruit tea. Um, it doesn't have sweetener, but it's fruit tea based, so that would break intermittent fasting. But for keto, totally, this is awesome. I love making this by the pitcher full. My little boy loves it. He drinks this tea during, and I don't add any sweetener to it because it's already kind of sweet. So I like, this is the passion tea. It's now not called passion tea, it's called like, Tasiago, or I'll put the real name, what it, what it really is now called, now that they've updated the name on it, but it was called Passion Fruit Tea. Um, I love this as one of my spring and summer drinks because it's pink hello like my shirt, which is also in the description link, but this is great for keto. If you just want something other than water, it's good. If you are loving this video, smash that like button and, and make sure you sign up for my free ketogenic diet meal plan in the description link below. Okay, the next thing that I had was my broccoli slaw, which was for my Trader Joe's haul. If you saw that haul, I will link that down in the description link below with my carne asada. Some of you guys asked, you talked on your Trader Joe's video about carne asada because I love it. It's the easiest, it's easy keto, straight up ketogenic diet, simple meal. If you want simple, this is the meal. Okay, you get the carne asada, you just cook those in your cast iron skillet or any sort of skillet, just cook it. That's it. Like if you put it on a grill, I probably wouldn't put it straight on a grill because it's a thinner piece of meat. It does have three carbs per fourth of an ounce serving, keeping that in mind that they have seasoned it. Man, I just love it though. It's so good. It's better than a regular, it, like to me, it's comparable to like a New York strip steak, a ribeye, but it tastes better with the seasoning they have. And the seasoning does not look like it has creepy carbs. Y'all know I'm the creepy car police. Woo! I put my creepy card police hat on so I would um, the carne asada just cook those straight up and then um, the broccoli slaw I 
actually got the recipe from Kita Jinja, and she and I did a collaboration together, and one of her recipes is an awesome keto coleslaw recipe, so I didn't create this, she totally created it. I will put that in the description link below too. It's so, so simple. You just get the broccoli slaw. The mayonnaise that you use, there's three choices you can do. One is primal mayonnaise. That is the cleanest keto mayonnaise out there. It's made out of avocado oil, no creepy carbs, no sugar added. Number two is Sir Kensington mayonnaise, which is made out of avocado oil, but does have sugar added, which can stall your weight loss. Apparently it's a nominal amount, but it's still sugar added, which can cause inflammation. Number three is Duke's mayonnaise. It is not made out of avocado oil. It is made out of soybean oil, which is inflammatory, but it does not have sugar added. I'm a Southern girl. We make Southern deviled eggs. We use Dukes. Even though, but I know that that soybean oil is an inflammatory property, I'm willing to take that sacrifice because I like the taste of it, but I want you to know if you're doing easy keto, lazy keto, ketogenic diet of what your choices are. I will put Primal and Sir Kensington in the description link below. I got my Duke's mayonnaise at Aldi. Have you seen my Aldi keto shopping hauls? That's where I got it from. So that is, was, is an awesome, easy recipe to make. So simple. Then I had used the leftovers from that is what I ate from, was straight up leftovers. It actually tasted better the next day that it had been sitting in those juices, fermenting, is that the right word, fermenting? Fermenting? It was fermenting. It was really, really good, and I would highly recommend having that. That tasted delicious, and it was the, the serving size I would use is about a cup full of the coleslaw. And then with the carne asada, I do measure out my meat just to make sure I don't have too much of that. Did you love this video? Make sure you get my free ketogenic diet meal plan. Totally my gift to the Countess of Low Carb community. And also smash that like button, click subscribe so we can see each other in future keto and intermittent fasting videos. I would love to see in the comments below, what is your favorite keto meal? That's the question of the day. What's your favorite keto meal? What would you recommend I try in my upcoming easy keto meal video of a day in the life of? Would love to know. Let's make it a powerful day. Bye guys. Saucy, how do you feel about the ketogenic diet? Do you love a day in the life of ketogenic diet? Are you happy? See ya. It was nice talking with you. Sauce? Are you avoiding your interview and going underneath the table? Come back, Sauce. Where'd you go? Look, Mama. What do you see? I think it might be an old plane. Why? Saucy, are you happy?